Welcome back to the J.P. Morgan Chase Corporate History Program. I'm Virginia. I'm one of the archivists in this department. And I'm Elizabeth, and I'm also an archivist. So we are currently standing in our archival storage facility, where we house our hundreds of records, photographs, artifacts, anything that helps us tell the story of J.P. Morgan Chase. We have over 1,200 predecessor institutions, and we have records for many of them. So we're going to give you a sneak peek at how we store them, and where we store them. So Liz, where are we currently standing in front of? We are standing in front of file cabinets full of our photograph collection. Each photograph lives within a folder in a protective mylar plastic covering. So I'm gonna pull one for us today from the JP Morgan & Co collection, but we're gonna take a look at what's inside in a little bit. First, we're gonna hit a few more stops. So Virginia, where do we house all of our paper records? So we house all of our paper records on these movable shelves. We have over three miles of shelving. And as you can see, we have ledgers as well as document boxes. And these house some of our really old and historic paper records, including corporate minutes, uh, stock ledgers, things like that. And as you can see, these shelves move, which is a great space saver. Liz, can you tell me where we store some of our oversized items? Sure. So as you can imagine, not everything fits into a box. Like this, for example. This is a mosaic from 23 Wall Street, the J.P. Morgan & Co. headquarters. It's over 100 years old and used to hang inside the banking floor. We pulled some other items from 23 Wall Street. Is that correct, Liz? Right. So we also have these map cases that you can see around us where we store our oversized paper records. And so today we're going to talk a little bit about 23 Wall Street. 23 Wall Street was the headquarters of J.P. Morgan & Co. But it actually first originated with Drexel Morgan & Co., which is the company that J. Pierpont Morgan founded with Anthony Drexel. Mm -hmm. But in the 1890s, the name changed after Drexel's death to J.P. Morgan & Co. And that original building, I have a photo for you here today. So as you can see, it's in its plastic, which I'm going to take so we can look at it. And here's the original building. And what year was this building modified? So in 1912, J. Pierpont Morgan met with the architects to design a new building that would kind of fit the turn of the 20th century. And so I have here an image of that construction process and, of course, what the new building looked like. And this is the building that you'd recognize today. Though we no longer live in that building, uh, 23 Wall Street is a New York City landmark. So the exterior that exists today is the same as the one that was built in 1913. And these blueprints, these are from the 1913 building. Correct. So these are just some samples of blueprints from the, from the construction of that building. Do you have any photographs from the interior? I do, actually. Here we have one of the early conference rooms from J.P. Morgan & Co. in that 1913 building. And it actually, we can find it here on this blueprint. Oh, yeah. Oh, there it is. Here it would be. This is just a small sampling of the artifacts and records we have from 23 Wall Street. Yes. Thanks for joining us today.